guys, welcome back to those board gamers. So today I've been wanting to I've been wanting to show you Pokemon. I know the game, I love it, I collect the cards, and I thought that I would show and I thought that I would show you me opening this. So this is Pokemon Battle Academy. So it is it comes with three uh here, let's go to the back side of the box. So it comes with three three complete decks. Each deck includes a powerful GX Pokemon, either Charizard, Raichu, or Mewtwo GX. And then so it has a one two player game board. It has three deck boxes for the decks, a rule book, a large metallic coin, a set of damage counters, and a can't read it. A code card for the Pokemon TCG online. It also comes what is it? Two tutorial guides and there's also a um, uh, there's also a guide for each of the decks so you can learn how to play them better. So uh, let's get to opening. Okay. So let's get this open. Let's see. So uh, here is the board. Uh, let me open it. Here it is. Uh, I'll show you that later. I'll explain it all to you guys later. Okay, here's the coin it was talking about. It might be hard to see, but it has Mewtwo, Pikachu, and Charizard on it. It's bigger than most usual coins. And then here's the Charizard deck that it comes with. This is just the deck box. I'll show you the deck later. The Pikachu deck box, which has the deck inside of it, like the other one. And then, under the rule books, under the rule book and the guides, it has, there's a guide for each deck. It has all of the damage counters. And two GX to tokens, which pretty much mean is for each of the sides. So, the reason for that is because... With every, um, you can only use a GX move once. Here is the Mewtwo deck. And then I will not show you guys the code card yet. Okay. So, we have, let's look at the Pikachu deck first. So, here is the Pikachu deck. So its strongest card would be the Raichu GX. Uh, I like the artwork. And so uh, let me find one of the other cool cards. It has Electabuzz. I think it's a cool card. It also, ha so it has Alolan Raichu. And this, in my opinion, is all the Pikachu art is great. So, yeah, there are some of them. And there are some of the cards. And um, so this is mainly to get you started with Pokemon. But the way I play is really good for these decks from what I've heard. And so here's the Charizard deck, which has, I don't, I don't think there's any other cards I need to show you but this. Charizard. Charizard GX. Oh yeah, by the way, so each of them down here, probably can't see it, 
but there's a little symbol that's a Charizard because it's in the Charizard deck. And then in the Pikachu, it's the same thing with a Pikachu. Same with the Mewtwo deck. So now I'm going to look at the um, Mewtwo deck. Let me just put that back in. Now, this is Mewtwo deck. There's the Mewtwo GX. Really love the artwork for that one. Uh, and so, they're each a one-type deck, not double-type. So these are from, I'm pretty sure, Alola, or the um, uh, Pokemon Sun and Moon, because they have a bunch of the um, uh, Topax and Marini and How. So yeah, they... Also, this one and this one has a um, uh, has a Eevee and an and it's Eevee Lucian for that type. The Pikachu, I'm pretty sure doesn't, but I can check. Um, so let me check. I'll look through, see if I see an Eevee. If I see an Eevee, I know there's a Jolteon. So far, nothing. There's Tauros. Not seen a Eevee. Does not look like there's the Eeveelution in the sack. But the other two have it. So, yeah. And that's really just what this is. And then... So, if you look at the um, uh, damage counters... There's one for each of the, um, uh, so there is a, the two GX coins, four 100 damages, 1250 damages, and I'm not going to count how many tokens there are for 10 damages, because that would take me way too long. And then here are the three guides. That's the one for the Mewtwo. That's the one for the Pikachu. That's the one for the Charizard. And, yeah. So, I hope you have a great day. I'm so sorry that it's been so long since I last posted on YouTube. But, we had some troubles. Uh, our computer broke. So, we had to get it fixed and it took a while. But, so, hey, I'm back, and I really hope to make it up. I'll try to post as much as I can. And, you know, just make sure to have a great day. And if it's no longer daytime where you are, and it's night, have a good night. And, oh, I forgot one thing. Okay, let me just quickly explain this. So, so this is how it would be if we were each facing each other. I would have my benched Pokemon here. You can have no more than five benched Pokemon. You have six prize cards. Your deck would go right here. That would be where the other person's. And then the discard pile is below the deck. Some people do a reverse, which is what I do. There is the active spot, which is where the Pokemon that you're fighting with goes. And next to, and right here, it has a list of all the things you can do on your turn and in the order. So just have a great day or night or whatever time it is. And make sure not to get too bored. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and Check out some of my other videos. And even if you don't, I just hope that you like the video. I'll be... Well, I hope to upload another video very soon. So, when that happens, I'll see you then. See you next time on 
those board gamers. Bye.